All right, we're going to do our uh, thread fin pattern uh, in the spark shad. We've already got a base coat laid down, uh, went a white base, and then went a metallic white uh, fine over that. And we're going to lay down some underlying colors that we will uh, scale over in just a few minutes. But most of you thread fin, and I'll throw a picture up. Uh, right now on the screen that's uh, of one that's somewhat similar. Again, these uh, thread fin in our areas and different shad variations can have some variation in them, especially the time of year. But what we're gonna involve is some yellows, kind of off yellow brown colors and a little bit of blue. Most of our thread fin have got that. And then we will also be utilizing a couple of these ghost colors we're just going to lay down a little bit of yellow underneath here. And this is an iridescent. And most of that's going to be kind of covered up and just kind of show through with the scale pattern that we're going to throw over the top of that with our silver sealer. All right, next step that we're going to do is we're going to come over about midway and we're going to do a uh, some silver scale and then I'm going to come back over the bottom half with, the, with that metallic white or pearl white scale. Okay, so we're going to do kind of an overlapping thing there on both sides. We will start with silver. some highlights on these scales. We're gonna go real light and we're gonna spray at an angle. This uh, pachinko kind of give us that magenta type look from eye candy. We just want to be in the midsection and above. Ghost blue. And I'm just blowing some air. Back color. Keep it somewhat light too, and go with a uh, sepia, kind of on the shoulders. 
and just touch up some of that scale. All right, even though we've got our scale, we're gonna use this to kind of keep it somewhat irregular shaped. Back up. Okay, so we've just been working that ghost blue in.
too proud of this one, but I'm gonna keep it on here just in case. A little disappointed in how I got my gills, uh, my gill plates. I like this side okay. I do like my colors. I think when we get the clear coat uh, put on this, the ghost blue and the uh, pachinko colors in there will really stand out against uh, you know that metallic white. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the colors I put in this. Um, again, metallic white, and it's a uh, fine. Uh, I did a sealer silver uh, scaled on the top half. We did a detailed sepia uh, on the shoulders and the back and then topped it off with a black magenta. And the underlying colors were carabine blue, a Caribbean blue, iridescent yellow, and then another background color at the top of the shoulders was raw sienna. So, again, the pigments that I used were from Eye Candy, Ghost Blue on the bottom half, and Pachinko right down the lateral line. So, anyway, not real happy with the way this one turned out. We'll perfect it. But again, Thread Fin Spark Shad version one for sure, because we're going to redo this one at the end of the day. We'll throw a clear coat on it. We'll put some cool eyes and uh, we'll go chunk it in the lake. So until next week, Green Country Bait signing out. Thank you.